So, today I'm working on a 750GB Seagate Barracuda 7200.12. Uh, what the driver is doing is it's extremely temperamental. It stays busy on startup. It hangs machines when plugged in via USB. And I'm going to show you today how I clone this drive to recover the data and bypass this issue. So I'm going to demonstrate now by uh, putting power to the drive. And we're going to take special note to the registers in the bottom left hand corner here. So the drive's just been turned on. It initialized, sounds perfect and comes ready. So everything looks good right now. Uh, when I go to get an ID of the drive, it just stays busy and we attempt to run the utility we have no recognition of the family uh, we have no identification of the drive and it's still just stuck and busy so what's going on so what we're going to do is uh, attempt to disable some background functions uh, that are used when this drive powers on for the first time to make the drive more reliable Another indication on uh, the cause of this as well is, and what gives this away, is that the drive comes ready uh, rather quickly and then as it loads background uh, specs etc it then starts to hang. So to, for case in point and to, to prove this, what we can do is if we time this correctly, putting power to the drive, and attempting to ID the drive just as it starts to initialize and come ready, the drive gets recognized. And here it is as a ST37528AS uh, with a family of 3F Faro. Uh, so the drives come ready at the registers here. We go to start the utility. And once again, the drive starts to hang and attempting to read the service area of this drive and, and, func and get read access, etc. I'm getting drivers not ready, it's stuck and busy, I can't get terminal, and then it comes ready again. So if I, without turning this off and going back into the drive itself, we're back to square one. The drive's staying busy. I'm attempting to get an ID of the drive, which we just did, and it's very temperamental. So how am I going to rectify this? Uh, and that's what I'll demonstrate now. It's, um, it's still having trouble reading, so what we've got to do is time it when we first put power to this drive. Once again, not recognized. So let's start again. So what I'll do, just like before, is try to ID this drive as soon as it becomes uh, ready. So once again, we've got drivers not ready, but, which is all fine. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to premeditate a function. I'm going to uh, run a command on here uh, regarding editing the drive's ID. And although this function does not work at this point uh, because it's stuck and busy, uh, it just gives me a quick access via just this play icon here will actually just uh, run that command that I just set uh, instantly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to power the drive off, power it back on. So instead of going through all the task menu, I can just run the function. So these are the background uh, functions that are that are happening when the drive is powering on. 
Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable them. Offline defects bearing, uh, deferred defect hiding, uh, auto relo uh, relocation, writing and reading. I'm going to have all this disabled uh, when the drive powers on. Uh, the only thing I'm going to show is the additional diag messages uh, within the terminal window. So what we'll do is apply that by switching the drive off because we know that turning it on and off and accessing it during a very small window gives us access to this device. Right, now that that's been completed, uh, let's see if the drive operates normally. So I will turn it off. Turn the drive back on. The drives come ready. And now we're not having any problems accessing the drive and have full service area access. From here, I have a blank drive or a, a um, clone drive attached to this machine uh, on another ATA channel. And I'm just going to call this 750. <laughs> the drive that I just disabled those functions with were, is on ATA0. Uh, that's going to be the source drive. I'm now safe to read the drive ID. Make a data copy. I'm going to go to the second ATA device to clone to. And we should be able to start reading this. So every sector that's green has duplicated to the clone drive. Uh, we've now repaired the drive to into a state that can now be read and we can now clone the device. And um, uh, that's what we'll do with the situation of a, a, a bad behaving Seagate 750. Uh, and um, I hope you appreciate the the um, uh, watching what we do here to repair this and uh, thanks for watching.